Uh, coming up on 1118, when Betsy Kling says she has good news on November 3rd, <laughs> That's a good sign. Yeah, right. especially considering we didn't make it out of the low 40s today, and especially considering we're headed down toward freezing tonight. <laughs> Things are going to get better. That's the best news Excellent. of all. Let's take a look at how we will fare tomorrow. We'll be in the low 30s to get started. Maybe a little lake effect, rain, snow hanging around. Uh, all of us, though, cold. By evening, partly cloudy and downright chilly. Temperatures are going to peak in the 40s once again tomorrow, but we will quickly cool tomorrow evening as we lead into then Friday morning. Right now, we are sitting at 33 degrees at Elyria and Worcester, 34, Mansfield, Dover. It is already 31 degrees in Youngstown right now. Many inland areas will be having a hard freeze overnight tonight. Winds have backed off somewhat, but we still have that flow coming across the lake that is still driving some lake effects, predominantly in the form of rain out over the lake, but once it comes inland, we hit into the areas where it gets away from the warming effects of the lake, and that kind of mixes things up a little bit. We end up getting some snow. We end up having grapple or a mix. There's just been a whole uh, whole heap of issues throughout uh, the afternoon and the evening with those isolated precipitation showers. I kind of can't really nail it down to exactly one type at that point, but we're not alone in this. The Great Lakes region is dealing with this patch of cold air that is setting over us, and it's really driving this lake effect. But look west. We're starting to see it backing off. Western end of Lake Superior finally starting to see the lake effect snow showers backing off even into the UP of Michigan. Northern lower Michigan throughout much of lower Michigan will continue with the lake effect snow showers overnight tonight as well. Areas downwind of Lake Erie and Ontario. But for the most part through the day tomorrow, we will find this whole thing beginning to lift out. So we will start with the rain and snow chances. But by the end of the day, we're probably going to start to see some clearing. Here's your National Design Mart hour by our forecast our chances for the lake showers continuing tonight but I mentioned things will start to lift out we will have a change taking place tomorrow in the upper parts of the atmosphere and that should help to shut her down as far as the lake effect goes temperatures in the 30s in the morning light winds so no real appreciable wind chills out there we will get some peaks of sun from time to time as we head through the day tomorrow that is some good news but we can't really rule out a totally dry day for areas downwind of the lake especially east Meanwhile, Meanwhile, West, this is your 6 p.m. temperature, and we are already back down into the low and mid 30s throughout inland areas. And tomorrow night, look at this. By 11, we could be looking at 20s inland under clear skies, calming winds. We have another hard freeze coming tomorrow night for most of the inland areas. And this morning, we made it to 33 at Cleveland Hopkins, either tomorrow morning or probably uh, as we get into Friday morning, I think we're going to have our first freeze of the season. It's all because of this cold air that's banked down here over the Great Lakes region. But watch what happens as we go through the next seven days. That cold air lifts out. We have warmer air that begins to move in. So the entire forecast is one that is moderating. And as far as where the rest of the cold air is, well, it's all banked up in, into northern portions of Canada, the Arctic Circle. So we're not expecting it to start to surge south anytime soon. but time of the year, you know at some point it's coming our way. Here's your Union Home Mortgage forecast. Look at that trend. Stair steps. This is the best kind of stairs, right? Uh, upward into the 50s and eventually the 60s as we head through the next seven days. Don't forget the time change this weekend. And for next week, well, we're going to start to go back down. Some cooler air starts to slide in here by next weekend. Jimmy's up next. He has more on OBJ, the Browns drama, and everything else in sports.